So I've been working with 3D printing now for a little over a year. And it quite literally is the do-it-yourselfer's dream come true. All the ideas that you've ever had, but you didn't know how to manufacture, or you didn't have the resources to manufacture them, you didn't have a machine shop that you could tool out parts, all of these reasons for not being able to build something that you thought of and wanted to build are virtually eliminated with the advent of 3D printing. Now I've seen these around. I've played with these little LED tea lights run off of a CR2032 battery in the bottom. This one's obviously missing. There it is. And they're a little flickering LED light made for putting inside of candle fixtures and whatnot. But what else can we do with them? Well, I got a few of these. I picked them up for practically nothing and was playing with them and thought, well, I don't want to go out and buy a candle fixture for them. Candle fixtures tend to be dull and boring. What else can I do? So, having the 3D printer, I started playing around on Tinkercad, and I came up with a design that looks like this. And the uh, tea light fits inside like that. The handle is a, printed as a separate piece. The base prints as a single unit. Bottom is open so you can reach the switch. And a chimney so that the little tea light itself is completely covered. And result you've got your little flickering candle lantern. Now, not happy with, never happy with things good enough, I had one small problem with this design. That is the battery. Too small. Doesn't last long enough. If you forget to turn it off, you're replacing the battery every couple of days. What's the point of having a light if you can't have it shining, have it turned on, have it set for ambience? So, back to the drawing board. After playing around a little bit, working with different ideas, come up with that. That is a drop-in replacement for the tea light itself. Made to hold two AA batteries. You take your uh, flickering LED out and put it through the hole, the leads through the holes there in the center. Batteries go in. The cap is intended to have a metal strip attached to the bottom. This is first version, didn't have any way to attach the metal strip. So, back to the drawing board again, and a few modifications later, now we have this version. This already has the LED installed, leads cannot see them in the bottom, can't get it to focus on anything but my hand. There you can get a little glimpse of one of the leads down there. 
reflecting the light. There we go. Now we can see the lead in the one side, both sides. So, leads poke through, touch the ends of the batteries. Strip here actually has two slots. One on each end. And what I did is I've got this copper tape, which I purchased for working with my solar panels. And then I've also got all of these nickel strips that I've salvaged from out of laptop batteries. The main strip on this is a nickel strip that's bent on the ends to fit into the slots to hold it in place. And then I put the copper foil tape over the top of it to both hold it in place and to assist with the conductivity. In this one here, we've got one that's already got the batteries in it and is working. Running out of hand scissors switch here. The mechanism for switching it on and off is actually quite simple. You just turn it and it turns off. Turn it back on, turn it back to the full closed position, pull it out, you change the batteries back in, turn it back on. Happy with that. That's going to be the final version of it. I'll post the link files to Thingiverse. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching and happy making.